What's up guys, Robert up to what is? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Now just a quick one about ticking boxes. I've spoken of this before. So it all started last night when I made my food for the day, for the next day. I feel like that is your preparation and setting your alarm that night is that again, a box ticked preparation for the next day. So alarm set, goes off, I get my cold shower, I'm up, I'm ready, I'm going to the gym, box ticked. I've got my food already made from last night for my whatever my first meal is, box ticked. So you can see how you're getting the momentum going the previous night before, not like just getting up and think, right, what do I need to do today? How can I do that? Oh, I've got to take my kid to school first. It's all in the preparation. And not to mention the early night to be able to have enough sleep to not be annoyed when that alarm goes off. So you have to take a few steps back and plan, you know, to be able to plan ahead. So it's all about ticking boxes. If you want it enough, you will do it. Okay. If this isn't for you, then you, you'll have turned it off by now. It's all good. But if you want to listen and I can inspire just a couple of people, then it's worth doing. Like I said, I've said many times, I'm nothing special. Do you know, I, I, I haven't done this all my life. I've done it for a big chunk of it because luckily I got, I got out of all this sesh live stuff and going out and thinking that living for the weekend and thinking that that just getting drunk is everything in life. No, you need to learn to enjoy the little things in life, which are usually free. Going for a walk in the sun with your family, do you know, cold water plunge, stuff like that. Think outside the box. You don't have to be boring and stay in and like, oh, I can't go to football because everyone will be drinking. I'll be too tempted. It's like you're your own person. Be a strong, powerful person. The amount of times I've been on stag do's and weddings and birthdays, Christmas, you know, it's, it's everyone's personal choice, but like people know me enough to not, they don't even really tempt me with stuff. But obviously I've gone through all that where I've, you've, you've been the black sheep and people have tried to peer pressure you. And to, for some reason that just made me want to do it more just to annoy people. I'm like buying shots and putting them in my face. I'm like, nah, mate, nah, I've made a, I've made a decision. This is my set rules. I, so again, one of my rules, I do not drink. That's just set in place. Then there's no umming and ahhing like, oh, well, I'll not drink for a bit or I might drink tonight. There's no, do you know, there's, there's, there's no conversation in my head. It's just straight no. Do you know, it's 100%. It's like, it's a non-negotiable, do you know. I don't have to have that mental battle. So, again, see that as the alarm, the making your food, the going to the gym, the eating the food at that time or the going to sleep at that time. Do you know, these are set rules and I'm not drinking, I'm not smoking, I'm not sniffing drugs, do you know. It's just absolutes, and that's how my personality works. Yours might not. Some people can moderate stuff. That's absolutely fine if you can, do you know? But I've, I, I very rarely see it. I'm, I'm yet to see it, do you know? So, yeah, hopefully this helps. Like, share, comment, subscribe, tag, give me a load of crap, whatever you want to do. It's all good.